Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do. I mentioned in our last Kroger video about salt potatoes, and somebody asked a question, what are salt potatoes? I grew up in central New York. Um, I grew up on salt potatoes, so I figured I'll show you guys what I mean by salt potatoes. So I'm going to make some salt potatoes. So hang tight. We're going to get it all set up here, go through the ingredients, show you how to make salt potatoes. Before we get into that, love for you to hit the subscribe button below. Do so, please. Also, the bell notification button below notifies you when we put up our next video. And please hit the like button, too. Helps us out immensely. I'm going to get the ingredients set, and then we'll show you how to make salt potatoes. Hang tight. So the first thing you need to make salt potatoes is the little gourmet mini potatoes. And they were petite golds were actually on sale at Kroger this week as a digital deal. So I got the petite gold, and I also got the petite red. Now, we're not going to make all these because Peg and I can't eat all these potatoes. So I'm going to do about half of these. So what you're going to see is about half the recipe for salt potatoes. So you've got the potatoes. You need a pan. And we're going to, this is an induction pan, so we're going to use an induction burner. You need kosher salt. And believe it or not, you need butter. Now, we're going to melt this in a little bit first. But first, we're going to get the kosher, we're going to get the salt potatoes ready to cook. So you got your pan. And we are using filtered water, and I'll tell you the reason why. Right now, our water is smelling like fish. So, so I'm using water from the Brita. So that's pretty much enough water that you want to use. And like I said, we're going to use about half of these because Peg and I can't eat all of this salt potatoes. So you just put the potatoes in there, and we'll use about half the bag. We'll put the red ones in there too, just for a little color, I guess. And that's about half. And then you need salt. Now, if you're going to do the whole two bags of salt potatoes, the uh, petite potatoes, you're going to want a bigger pan, and you're going to want more water, and you're going to want to add a lot more salt. I'm going to use about a half a cup of salt, or a little bit more. And you say, that's a lot of salt, Steve. Yes, it is a lot of salt. So here we go. I'm going to use about a half a cup of this. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. And I always use kosher salt when I do this. Actually, that's total, I'll throw a little bit more in there just for fun. I normally use kosher salt, and you're like, that's a lot of salt. Yeah, that's a lot of salt. Just pour it on in there. If you think it's too much salt, it's not too much salt. So we've got that. Now we've got our induction burner. We're going to pull that over here. And we do have our induction burner. So we're going to set this on here. And we're going to turn it on. It would help if I plugged it in. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to set this at. I want it on high heat. So we're going to let this boil, and while this boy gets ready to boil, I'm going to take a half a pound of butter, and I'm going to take it over to my other grill, my other stove, and I'm going to melt it down. So hang tight. You can see the water is starting to boil and you can start to see the salt uh, up on top. Now you can stir this if you want to, but you don't have to really, because when it starts to boil, it'll kind of stir itself. And I will tell you right now, if it's going to splatter a little bit of salt on the edges, so be aware of that, but it cleans up really, really easy afterwards. Now, as I said, I'm waiting for this to boil, and once it starts boiling, I'll probably start melting the butter, and it would be an idea if you had something to put melted butter in. And I will tell you after it starts to boil why you need melted butter. This is something, again, I grew up in central New York. Uh, this is something that I kind of grew up with, and my mom showed me how to do this. It's super easy, and it's super good, 
And you'll be surprised, it's not going to be as salty as you think it is, but it's going to be really, really good. I learned a lot of cooking techniques from my mom over the years. I've used a, shown you a couple of them uh, in our previous videos, so not really a recipe to this, it's just making salt potatoes. You know, just a regular slotted spoon is all I use, just to give it a little bit of a stir. And uh, you'll start to see the potatoes rise to the top. And think about that, we're in salt water, and if you're in salt water, you have a tendency to be a little bit more buoyant. And as the starts to boil, you'll see the salt get more and more into the water, and these potatoes start to rise a little bit more. By the way, you do not want to poke these. You know how uh, a lot of people normally, to know when their potatoes are done, they stick a fork in them to see if the fork goes in and through. If you do that, take it out, poke it, but don't put it back in the water, because it'll get really, really salty inside really, really fast. I'm going to give this another quick stir. And again, you don't have to stir it, but also make sure there's no sharp edges on what you're stirring. Because again, you don't want to poke the membrane of the potato. You want to keep the membrane of the potato um, solid uh, while it's cooking. I see some of the uh, yellow potatoes are starting to rise to the top. One of the things that you don't want to do is break the membrane of the potato uh, with a sharp edge, either a knife or a fork or, or a spoon when you're stirring it, simply because if you break the membrane of the potato, which protects the potato from getting all the salt into the potato, uh, and it'll get in there, don't worry, but not as much as you think. Um, but if you poke it, then it's really going to get salty inside the potato, and you really don't want it salty all that way inside the potato. They are starting to boil, and you're going to start to see a little bit of a salty crust on, the, on some of these potatoes. They'll get crusty, that's a normal thing for this. You want, it to, you want them to get crusty with salt. And again, the more potatoes you use, the more salt you want to put into the water. Um, I used about a half a bag of the ones we got from Kroger. So I used about eh, a little over half of the salt that I'd normally use. So now that we've almost got to a full boil, think about this as you're looking at this and the salt potatoes are at the very top and floating and you're swimming in salt water and you just think about Oh, maybe Dory, keep on swimming, just keep swimming. So now these are going to boil probably for a good 10, 15 minutes. And then you'll want to start pulling them out one at a time just to check the softness to see if they're done. I hope I put enough salt in there, to be honest with you. You can never put too much salt for salt potatoes. Just giving you a heads up on that. But you see how you're starting to get a salty crust, like on the handle here and around the edges. That's natural. That's normal. You're going to see that. You're also going to see it on your counters and on your stove. Cleans up really easy with a wet sponge. And again, resist the temptation to poke them with a fork to see if they're done. Resist that temptation. The membrane around the potato, the skin of the potato, is protecting that potato from taking in too much salt. So you don't want to poke them with a fork. And if you do, when you want to check them, pull one out, poke it, but don't put it back in the water. That one's done. You can still eat it, but... To be honest, that's probably a really natural way to get a margarita rim on your boiling pan. I want to show you something real quick here. 
as that dries out, you'll see that salt crust start to develop on the outside of this. Again, that's what you want to see. You want to see that crust, that salt crust, that white crust of salt on your potato. I'm going to give this just a couple more minutes and I'll test them to see how we're doing. I'm going to pull one out of the water and see if it's done. And you'll see as that starts to, water starts to come off of that, you'll see it start to develop that crust, that salty crust around it. All I want to do is stick a fork in it to see if it's done. So I'm going to take this, oh, those are done. Yeah, th those are ready to come off. So I'm going to put this over here because I'm going to eat that one. And then I'm going to turn this, burn, turn this induction burner off. So I'm going to pull these out. And I've got a, a little tool here that's going to get them out without taking the water. Now you can dump them into a colander if you want, but this is easier for me. And as they start to, the water starts to evaporate off, you'll see them start to develop that crust that I was talking about, that salty crust. So we're going to set these off to the side for just half a second and start getting our butter ready. So as you can see, as the water starts to evaporate, you see it developing that white crust. You can see it better on the red potato than you can on the white, but it is there, trust me. So I'm going to move this stuff off to the side. You see, you can look at this. Let me pull, move this over just a minute so you can see this. You see the salt that came on the induction burner? That cleans off real easy. So don't worry about that. So here we go. We have salt potatoes. Now we need one more thing for our salt potatoes. We need butter. I will tell you right now, do not use margarine. Use real butter. And I've already melted my butter. And I've got these little cups that we're going to put the butter in. One for me. And one for Peggy. So we have two cups of butter. And we have our salt potatoes. Now all you do to eat salt potatoes, I'm going to make this real easy. So I've got my potatoes. I've got my butter. Now it's time to eat salt potatoes. So all you got to do is grab one like that, put it on your plate. Now what I would do is I would cut it in half. I'll just use my fork to do that. And then all you do is come over here, dip it in your butter. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. That is salt potatoes. Now you know how to make salt potatoes. Mm. Are you ready to eat salt potatoes? Thanks for watching this video. Appreciate you checking it out. That's how you make salt potatoes. Thanks for watching. Have a magical day.